In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about some of the dimension tools that are available to you. Now, these are a great way to communicate the sizing and the, the placement of a uh, completed graphic. You'll generally want to include these in some of the proofs as well. In fact, I always advise that you have your client sign off on these measurements, so that way you're uh, communicating effectively and you're not liable for any misprints or any uh, inaccuracies. So let's talk about using the dimension tool. Uh, the first thing I like to do when using the dimension tool is use guidelines to kind of position um, where your graphic is placed. So I'm going to just drag from the tool, uh, from the ruler rather, I'm just going to drag uh, some of these guidelines down and position them at the top of the logo and the bottom and also the left hand and right hand side. And of course I'm doing this in a speedy way uh, just to really illustrate the point here. Now notice where my mouse is hovering from the very left hand side of the workspace here. Uh, these are all the dimension tools. So, uh, of course, we can use a vertical or a horizontal uh, dimension uh, measurement. We can measure angles. We can uh, measure a subset of a dimension, and that would be the segment. And then we can do a call out, and I'll kind of explain how that will be used as well. So I'll go ahead, and, and most commonly, you're going to use the horizontal or vertical dimension tool. So I'll go ahead and make that designation. And what I'm going to do is go to this guideline here and measure the, uh, the height of my design. So I'm going to click on the guideline, just left mouse click and drag, and we'll bring that unit of measure down here to the very bottom. And once I'm done, I'll just release the left mouse button, and notice how it's sort of constrained in that specific area. I'll we'll just go ahead and left mouse click one more time, and notice how it's just placed in uh, the dimension of that specific area. Now, I also want to point out the very top, we have the option to make changes here. So I can also put in a decimal, so if we'd rather change this to a, a, a decimal, and you can see how that gives a more accurate measure. Um, we can also toggle and change the unit of measure. So I can change this from inches to millimeters to feet to yards, whatever is relative to your, uh, your particular project. So make sure to use these, uh, these controls here. We can uh, text or place the text in a specific area or region. We have the, the controls. We also can um, you know, give a little accent here. So if I want to give in a specific uh, you know, uh, sort of style of measure, you can see how I just changed that now to have sort of a little arrow indicator down here to get a little more dimension. Uh, we have the opportunity to change that as well. So we can always make changes as we progress. Now let's measure the uh, width of our file. So I'll go back and select the same horizontal or vertical dimension tool. I'll click on a guideline. I'll drag over and I will release. And then uh, we have, once again, we're constrained in this specific region. Left mouse click once more to place that other unit of measure. Now we can also make notes in here and that's really where the callout tool the three-point callout comes into play. So this will draw a callout with a two-segment leading line. This is just a great way to notate a specific design. So I might want to go over here to the right-hand side of my file and maybe make uh, some kind of notation or you know draw some attention. So I can go ahead and click in a specific area. Um, we'll draw an arrow there and maybe dock the arrow over here. And I have the opportunity. I drew an extra one. Um, so let's go back and activate that tool. And once again, we'll click drag and click again and maybe I can notate that specific region. So notice how my uh, text tool is now active so I could say um, make a uh, notation about the color, about the placement so I can just uh, add details here and you can see how that's now placed into my particular file. Now I can always reposition that as well so if I'm not, if I'm not satisfied with the way that's placed I can always reposition that as necessary uh, and constrain that, change the size, uh, change the color if I really want to make that stand out, you know, we have full control over uh, how that will be positioned. So that is using the, um, the dimension tools in CorelDRAW, once again, to give a little more uh, insight into the way the file is being prepared, which can be really important to communicating properly with your uh, client.